There's a quote of O Sensei where he says, we, we ceaselessly pray that fights will not occur. A lot of people uh, do, do their grab kind of this way, a little, little light or something like that. Uh, so when you grab, you could break away easily. And that's what I do if someone grabbed me like that, I'd break away. But uh, if you hold on so that I can't, now when I grab, I can really start to connect with you. And if the blend is good here, if the blend is good here, lift your feet, either one. <laughs> okay? Right. Please. So if you're high here, she doesn't have that problem. Right? right. But if you've really connected with her depth here, she actually can't raise her feet now. She can if she lets go or breaks the connection here. But then at that point, we're back to this again. Joe? So I was working with Joe, and I didn't feel like she was lined up to me as strong as she could be. Now, she's, this is pretty good. Let me show you a couple places where I see a little weakness. And I'm betting if I touch her knee again, I'm not going to be able to do that again. Because I just helped her feel herself and get more here. That's what I think we're doing with each other. I'm going to ask you to stay where you are. I'm going to pull on your hand a little bit, but don't, yeah, I feel you, first you want to fight with me. And that's natural. That's, that's what we're dealing with is the reaction is to fight against whatever's going on or to avoid it. Okay, good. Because, thank you very much. I'm doing this because my sense is trying to help you get here more. Uh, who wants to have a conversation with somebody who's not really there for it? Same thing here. And you should be training full presence here. This practice of joining your energy with your partner's energy, please. If you see this, um, if you watch our arms, they go from this to this. Okay, it's inverted in this case, but there's that joining or blending as opposed to uh, opposing or fighting. It's a uh, harmonizing with. Oh, Sensei knew um, that he couldn't talk to a lot of the guys who came to train with him. They'd come to study martial arts. He wanted to teach harmony. Most of them wouldn't really listen. There was nothing he could say to them. Uh, Mr. Shahoda, who split off and started Yoshinkai, had trained with him uh, in the earlier days when it was Aikibudo. And as he met um, Reverend Deguchi and started training the Omoto Kyo stuff, and that started to connect all this stuff that I think he had in him anyway uh, into this fact that the universe was one system or it's all a a great love and omnipresent in all times and quarters of the universe, etc., etc. Uh, Mr. Shahoda, for one, and I think several of the others split off. And um, Bob said when he trained in Japan, he, uh, he said, you know, he'd be coming into the dojo and he'd see guys sneaking out the back door, as it were. And they're going, you know, he's doing his stuff, you know, like they had come there to study martial arts and he knew pretty much that they didn't really want to hear what he was talking about. But all the movements in Aikido work in this harmonious process of continually blending or harmonizing or not opposing force with force. And I think he knew, or the kami told him, or the kami knew at least, the Aikikami, the divine spirit that created Aikido, that Osensei found, as it were. Uh, that if we kept doing this instead of this, if we kept doing these spiraling, unfolding, uncoiling motions, that it would change how we were as an energy body, as a memory of experience, uh, as the way we know ourselves, and hopefully eventually connect us to ourselves in that place where we live in a more fluid state, uh, where we haven't got these ideas about what's right and wrong so that we're arguing with each other about it, but we're in a sense of... L Aikido doesn't call relative affairs good or bad, but keeps all beings in a constant state of growth and development. Aikido is not to be strong and fell an opponent, it's to reconcile the world and make human beings one family. He saw something tremendously possible in there, but he also knew that 
these guys weren't particularly interested. They weren't particularly going to listen on it. And uh, so he knew that the only way he could talk to him, Jason, was through the physical body. And that practicing connecting, even though in a way it satisfies a little bit of, oh, I'm, I'm kind of winning here or something, uh, please, it, it really develops this where we become one. 